Hi, this is Max from the DHS2 communications team. We've recently made some changes to our website and I just wanna share with you what's new. So when you come to the homepage of dhs2.org, you can now see this new banner. Here we're showing some of the key content on the site. So this will change dynamically throughout the year. And if you click on any of these buttons, it'll take you directly to a page where you can learn more about the item that's shown. We've also changed our menu structure. So you can see here at the top, we have new thematic categories. Each of these contains subcategories. So if you click on the top category, you can then click through the sidebar menu and each item will show the pages that are listed under it. We hope this makes it easier to find exactly the content you're looking for. So for example, if we want to see our climate and health project, we go to domains and use cases, go to that section and just click the page here and that'll open the page. You can also use our search function and we've improved this too. So if you click on the search icon and type in something in the field. So let's say we want to see something about tracker. You can now see the search results are categorized by content type, and these can be filtered. So if you click on the filter results button, you'll see the different types of content, pages, articles, and events. And if we look at pages, what we've done is we've introduced a new categorization of parent and child pages. So you can see visually how those are organized by hierarchy, and hopefully this will help you find the content that's most relevant. You can also see that when we look at articles, we've included a publication date. And so this can help you see which content is most recent. And finally, events. This is a new type of content for us on the site. And here you can see the event name, the event date or dates, and then a description of the event. And if we click on this, this will open the event for you. Uh, here you can see a lot of information about this event, what kind of event it is, in this case, an academy, the title, a description, format, location, the dates, and the button to register. For more information, we have this page menu. So if you click on any of the items in this menu, it'll take you directly to that part of the page and you can find out more about the event. To see all upcoming events, you can just go to this DH2 event calendar page, which is dhs2.org slash events. And here you'll see the upcoming events listed in chronological order. Here you can browse them, uh, get an overview of what kind of event it is, when it's happening, some key details, a title and description. If you click on any of these images, those will open the event for more information. And you can also filter these. So if you go to the filter events button and open this, you'll see there are options for filtering by category, so academy, conference, webinar, etc., by language of event, by the region where the event is taking place, if it's a physical event, and by format, so in-person, online, or hybrid. You can also go and see our entire events calendar by clicking this button, and that will show you a dynamic calendar where we're adding events, um, and you can just view them by date. We've also made some improvements to our page design by putting dynamic content up at the top. So if we go to the DHS2 in action section and the DHS2 in action page, you can see that when this opens, the DHS2 in action map is right at the top. So from here, you can just start interacting with it directly. You can zoom in. You can change the layer to see how DHS2 is used in different use cases in different countries. And then when you're done looking at the map, you can scroll down and look at the rest of the content on the page. So this page, for example, includes things about use cases of DHS2 and impact stories and other content. So let's look at an impact story. And here we get to see one final feature of this site, which I'm really happy about, which is that we've introduced automatic translation into both French and Spanish for all content on the site. So if you wanna read this article in French, we just go up to the language selector here, select FR for French, and then it opens in French. As you can see, we do have a note at the top of the page indicating this content has been translated automatically. So that means there may be some errors in the translation. Uh, we are working to review some of the key content manually to correct those. But for your awareness, uh, there may be some slight issues. So if you notice anything that's wrong, or as you're browsing the site and have comments for us, we do invite you to write to us at website uh, at dhs2.org. And that's it. We hope you enjoy exploring the new version of dhs2.org. Mm -hmm.